I just thought we'd have a little couch talk. A little couch talk today. It can be hard because a lot of times those of us who are dramatic are sort of no known for being dramatic and um, so we feel like that's part of us. So to like dial it down, you all of a sudden feel like you're boring and, and I, you don't have to do that. I just make sure if you're struggling, if you're dramatic and you're great, then that's fine. But I think if you're struggling with your life and you're struggling to deal with things and you're often either feeling great or feeling terrible and there's not an in-between and if you're having a hard time coming back from disappointments or lows or if you get really high and then you crash, you might need to just step back and think, am I just being over dramatic? Am I trying to create more issues than there are? Am I exaggerating things? Um, because a realistic reality is is most, um, most often the easiest to deal with and so getting yourself every day to see things as they are instead of as you feel um, and avoiding those extremes can make it so your life stays stable and you stay stable and things are okay and it can be hard because you like you get kind of addicted to those highs and lows and everything in between and so it kind of feels like boring or disappointing sometimes to just be like things are fine actually every day is fine but it's it's a stable peaceful place to be and um and I, I think it's really important that we work on seeing seeing things as they are. It helps, it does help form gratitude. It also just helps you see big picture and it helps you understand that you can cope and you can start coping better on a day-to-day -day basis and instead of writing these extremes in your life. And hey guys, welcome to day 21, the end of week three. Quit being so dramatic. And that's spoken from, like I said, the crisis child, one of the most dramatic people out there. There's sort of become this, like, we've created sort of, between, like, reality television, which I love, and, um, and glorifying this diva mentality, I feel like it's become really, like, popular to just be super dramatic. And... It's fine to be funny that way or whatever, but when you are really, really dramatic and extreme in your emotions, it's really hard to deal with. You're gonna wear yourself down and it's exhausting and it creates a huge disconnect between reality and how you're feeling about reality. And so it creates this huge problem. It's a problem. And so I realized um, I had to stop I had to try to um, round off the extremes. I couldn't let myself be crazy, crazy high and I couldn't let myself be crazy, crazy low because I I tend to um, to lean towards the dramatic and I, I exaggerate things, especially to myself. Um, but so, so the highs are higher and the lows are lower, but that creates this crazy ride of dramatic flair in my life that can be um, it can be entertaining and when it's high it can be really fun to be so high but the biggest problem is that it creates this disconnect like reality is lost because I you know and also um, if you struggle with the lows you are creating way lower lows for yourself and so they're a lot harder to deal with. You're over dramatizing the lows and so in your head reality is getting completely exaggerated and skewed and so it, it really adds to that my life is so hard this is such a huge problem it's never going to be okay type mentality and that's a scary place to be and um, and it also makes you fall harder when you're on the highs and you let yourself get so high and so excited and so when that ends it creates this hard re-entry phase where you don't really know how to adapt back to normal and and you don't even know normal and and when you're super dramatic all the time it creates this like we talked about yesterday you're writing those circumstances but this is just writing the feelings writing your feelings of super high and super low it's exhausting it makes you lose reality and it creates <clears throat> this huge disconnect and this huge inability to cope with things because you can't cope because you're never just like mellow you're you're just super high and super low and i'm talking extreme here so not everyone is is like me but part of 
working on myself and working through things and learning to cope with my life and learning to deal with my issues <clears throat> has been learning to not be so dramatic. And especially, um, even if it's funny and it's fun, sometimes I need to just calm down. And um, because the way you paint your reality over and over and over every day, if it's super dramatized, that's what you start to believe. And so you're, you're going to start to believe that things are so bad or um, when things are so high and then you crash, that's going to be impossible to cope with. Um, so I, this isn't even like really a thing as much as just like watch yourself. Watch yourself. Avoid those extremes and stop being too dramatic so that you are actually painting a realistic reality that you can cope with instead of this over-dramatized reality that um, is often extremely overwhelming and um, and that you're not going to be able to handle and it also just tricks yourself into thinking that life is a lot harder than it is. I had to admit to myself that I over-dramatize things and that I exaggerate problems and that I go to crisis thinking and that I um, think things are bigger deals than they are and it's all of that blowing up and exaggerating and dramatizing that makes things hard to deal with so When I could get real about things and see them as they are instead of how they made me feel and Instead of how I exaggerated them in my mind everything got easier to deal with so That's that's today. This ends week three. We only have one week and a few days left So tune in tomorrow to see what week four is Okay, bye